Trees have just always interested me. I was obviously infatuated with trees growing up. I love the trees. <laughs> it's kind of a big thing I love about Central Park. It's amazing to work in the park and to be able to work on the same population of trees year after year. Being able to implement some program and then go back a year later, two years later, and see how the tree has responded to that. I think that's a really interesting thing about working here. Here I get to see these trees every day, every season, every year. I've gotten to witness how they react to the urban pressures and our work. We're looking at trees that have been inspected and looked at for quite some time. There's like a long-standing history, so I've been able to kind of see different tree species and how they're thriving or not so thriving in, in the park, and that kind of is sort of a barometer for the climate and the environment elsewhere. And then also, in doing our inspections, we respond to tree-related things. If there's a hanging branch over a pathway, we're going to go up and climb that tree and take that out. Our elm trees in the mall are one of our prized possessions here at Central Park. And it becomes daunting every spring to think about the pest management that we do for the health care. We're really good at it and we have a very good program, but it's difficult for me to think about if we didn't take care of the elm trees, would they all die? Trees are the largest and oldest organisms on the planet, and I think there's just a lot that we can learn from them. Central Park, it gives you the feel that you are in a special place, great outdoors, giant mature and old trees and young trees and landscapes that we're restoring all the time to keep that feeling that you're in one of the most beautiful places in this city, the country. I don't take it for granted at all that I work here. It's really, it's a pretty awesome place.